Hey everybody, welcome back and thank you for tuning in for another video. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be talking about making custom applications uh, visible on the sidebar here in Ubuntu. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, there's actually a couple of things I'm going to cover in this video um, because with the particular app that I'm doing this for, uh, there's something that it's also missing so we can tackle two birds with one stone here. Just a couple of little simple things. So first thing I'm going to do is I have this app here that I downloaded called Postman. And this is for uh, collaborative API development. It's a really great app for um, like building an API and connecting it with uh, something like MongoDB, you know, using Robo3T and stuff. Uh, so it's a really good app if you ever uh, want to get into APIs. It, it makes it really, really uh, easy and streamlined. Um, so this app, uh, as great as it is, does not have an icon um, associated with it yet. Um, and I don't know why this is with this particular app. Most apps just have their icon with them, but for whatever reason, Postman includes the icon in here, but they don't tie it to the actual uh, executable. So let's do that. So if we go into app, and this is the this is the case with most apps, you'll find that it's tucked away in there somewhere in some kind of assets or resources or uh, you know images, something like that. So for this particular one, we're going to go into app here, right next to Postman, resources, another app, and then we have assets. And here, this is where we have our icon.png, right? So we're going to go back here. Now that we know where that is, we're going to go to Postman, properties, click this little icon, and we're going to navigate to where that icon was, assets icon.png there we go there's our icon all right so that was easy right okay so now the other thing we have to do is actually make a desktop uh file so that our ubuntu can recognize um that it's something that we want to have uh, on our um quick access favorites bar thing here so what we need to do and we can't do this in um we can't do this in File Explorer. We have to do this through Terminal. So pay attention here. You don't have to memorize any of this stuff that I'm about to type out. Um, you know, I would definitely recommend looking through it and checking out what you know it all means and stuff like that to get a better understanding. Um, but you can pretty much just copy it, copy along with what I'm doing here. I'll paste the code in the description for the video afterwards. Um, so what we're gonna do here is sudo, which means super user do. This is basically telling the operating system that you're the admin. And you'll have to enter your password afterwards. Nano is something that comes with Ubuntu uh, for text editing. So we're going to open Nano at user slash share slash applications. And this folder here exists on your, whoops, on your machine. If you have Ubuntu, this folder is in there. Um, and then... My app is called postman.desktop. You're going to call it whatever your app is, whatever your name. So it would just be your app, whatever it is you're trying to add to the sidebar, .desktop. In my case, it's postman. So this is the command you're going to be running, uh, replacing this with whatever your app is called. All right. Put in the password. And now here we go. We're left with this blank file and uh we're gonna put this in here and again i will paste this in uh the description you don't need to like fully understand this right now but this is how you will fix um this is how you'll tackle this issue with the uh sidebar so we can go back in here and you'll notice these are all fields that need to be filled out they're just kind of filled in with uh, dummy information right now version 1.0 blah, 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 application so let's see let's see what the postman version is Okay. Oh, 8.8.0. .8 Duh. So let's change that first. We don't really need the version, but we'll just do it for consistency purposes. Type application, terminal false, exec. Now here, this is where the path to the executable goes. Okay. And the easiest way to do this is to just go to the executable. Right? Right click it, click properties. And we see this path here, parent folder. 
we're going to just snag this whole line right there. Now, be careful. You'll notice that this is the parent folder, right? So it's only giving you the path to the folder that you're in. This postman right here is not the app postman. This is the folder postman that we are currently in right here, postman, right? The app postman is inside this folder right here, right? So if we go up one level, we have postman going here, postman. So when we post this in here, I mean, when we paste this in here, right? It's only taking us to the folder of the executable. So we need to add the extra postman right and we can change this name your app we'll call it postman this way it shows up on the icon when we hover on it and we'll give it a description collaborative api development sounds very sophisticated okay so now we need our icon and that's easy we just go back into there resources app assets icon.ping and we're gonna just steal this parent folder path close that remember it's only giving the path to the folder right see it's only giving home down blah, blah, blah. resources app assets now we have to do icon whoops, dot ping and now to save it we do control o we hit enter as you see at the bottom here it says file name to write postman.desktop that's what we want we hit enter and now to exit we hit control x okay so we're out of there and we did that and now all we have to do is make this file an executable file so that when it so that it can show up in here and be executable through the taskbar and it's a very easy way to do this we're going to do sudo our old friend sudo chmod which means change modifications i believe plus x means give it executable permissions and then you're going to do slash user slash share slash applications slash your app dot desktop and remember you're placing you're replacing your app with post or i'm replacing it with postman uh, but you're going to replace it with whatever whatever uh app it is that you're trying to add hit enter and you may have to log out and log back in um but you may not have to so let's see if it works postman there we go there it is now we right click it add to favorites and there's postman I also did this with Robo 3T, so you can do, if you're anybody using uh, Robo 3T and stuff, uh, you can do this with that too. All right, thanks everybody for checking out the video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. I hope this helped somebody out uh, out there, because I know this was really driving me nuts for a little while. All right, take care. I'll see you in the next video.